G'day tubers, how's everyone going out there? Just wanted to do a quick update, I've got something today in the mail that um, I've never ever had before. So um, it's going to be a new experience for me, I've seen a lot of other aquaponicists use it, and uh, I've always thought, what, you know, why? If the water's clear and the, the pH is right, who cares? But I thought, well, everyone else is doing it, I might as well buy a pack, and I found these ones on eBay that are quite cheap 30 bucks you know but the one thing I have noticed is that um, this one is actually for ponds it says it's for ponds and the other ones I've seen are being blue ones and they say they're for aquariums so I figured well this one would be better because well it's for ponds and that's a pond that's a plant but that's a pond anyway so I'll be giving it a test in a minute let you know how I go. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever tested my pond for, um, or my aquaponic kit for ammonia or any of that sort of stuff, other than pH. I've done that before. Um, so we're going to do a little ammonia, is it ammonia? Yeah, ammonia test. Alright, make sure I've got the right instructions. Yes. So the instructions say, fill a clean test tube, ta -da, with five mils of water, right, or to the white line, right, that's five mils. Right, so we're going to go down into the water and turn the test tube over to get water from the midsection. All right, we'll rinse the thing out a little bit. So down into the middle of the water, turn it over, let it fill up, and that way you get it from mid-water level instead of from the top or from the bottom. All right, and we'll just get it down to five mils. Yeah. That looks like five mils. Right, so that's oh, a little bit high. Hang on a sec. There we go, five mils. All right. Oops. And now it says eight drops of ammonia test solution. Try pulling the red tab. There we go, eight drops. Right. Hold the bottle vertical so you get nice even droplets. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Right. That's one. Uh, that's bottle one, and then eight drops of bottle two. Child safety things. Luckily, I'm not a child. All right, so hold it vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, cap the test tube and shake vigorously for five seconds. Okay, we'll cap the test tube and shake vigorously for five seconds. Do not hold your finger. Up. Okay. Dad. I think they mean the test tube. Oh, okay. Two, three, four, five. Now, now we've got to wait five minutes for the colour to develop. Okay, so while we wait the five minutes, I thought I'd give you a quick look at my tomato bush I planted in December. Uh, it was mid-December, probably closer to January. She's died back a couple of times, but then she bushes out like this again. And every time, she's completely loaded with tomatoes. You can see them all there, and there, up there. Nice right one, just about ready there. One nice big ones in there, and all over the place. It's absolutely loaded. You can't even see them all with the video. Most of them are hidden underneath the leaves and stuff. And there's my basil that went nuts as well. Uh, tomato and basil. Hmm. Make pesto. Yum. Anyway, just a quick look. Okay, so our five minutes is up. Let's see how we're going here. Alright. <clears throat> I would say it's the top one myself. Or part way between top and 0.25. 
So, I've got no ammonia in my system. Or, well, almost zero. Alright, not bad since I've never done this before. Okay.